internet welcome back to my channel today I have another kind of vlog diary with me sort of video um, I read your feedback for my previous one the first one I did which was like a Melbourne vlog and thank you so much for all the really beautiful comments it was so encouraging and I really love all the feedback so if you have any more feedback for this video I would love to hear it I actually really enjoy filming and putting these videos together so I think I'm definitely going to keep this up and I'm really excited for all the different videos and experiments I'm hoping to do this year just change it up a little bit so um yes but without further ado let's just get right into the video so this is the weekend we'll be planning in actually we're going away to Torquay so I think I might do these sort of vlogs definitely when I travel well some of the travel I guess I'd love to do a day in life but as you can see this is a very purple spread ever since I did I'm gonna flip back here I think I did like a rainbow spread not too long ago yeah this is my rainbow spread and I just got really inspired to do themes every week so I know they're not like completely themed like this is not really themed I guess but then I started just leaning into the different colors I guess it let I love that it pushes me to experiment a little bit more with my stickers and gives me some ideas so I've got the pink spread a blue spread an orange spread and now we have this beautiful purple spread so I don't know what I'm gonna do in the next few weeks but I think I like the idea of theming them to some degree so Let's just get right into the planning. I will zoom in a little bit more on this section, although it is already quite zoomed in. I don't think I could zoom in much more. So I'm gonna start off the morning with some breakfast because we need that to start our day. And this mini talky trip is planned with our friends Violet and Jimmy. And it's actually gonna be really short. It's literally just two nights. So we're leaving on Friday and usually there's a lot of packing and that is pretty much how we spend all the mornings before we leave so the idea is we're going to be driving to Torquay and um, Jimmy and Violet don't have their own car so because we have two cars we're going to drive both cars to their place first which they live in the city and so it's going to be kind of interesting how we're going to get this done I think check-in is at three so I think we should head off at around two one yeah um yes they don't have their own car so we're gonna have to drive both of our cars to the city which i'm always get i don't know if it's just me but i actually get kind of nervous driving like i'm i don't know if i'm a nervous driver but like i haven't driven to the city in so long and it's always really busy and it can get really crowded and like people get temperamental and everything so i am a little nervous but I'm gonna go there and meet them. I'm gonna hand over my car because my car is a little smaller. Um, Toby's car is much bigger than mine. So we can pack all of Bub's things in his car and then let Viola and Jimmy take my car, which is smaller. And then we can then all four of us drive because now that we have a, a child seat in the car, we can't share, we can't have guests in the car as often as we, we can't have as many guests anymore. So we used to be able to fit five people in the car. Now we can only fit three adults. And there's four adults, so that's why we need two cars. So I'm gonna drive to the city, meet them first. Let's just mark somewhere. Car handover. I don't I don't think there's a stick sticker for handing over your car keys to someone. Drive to the city. You know what? I don't need a sticker for everything. Um hand keys over. <laughs> And then we're going to drive over to Torquay, which will be an interesting drive. Long drive, long car rides with Bubs is always, it's always interesting. Okay, so we will drive to Torquay. I think it's going to be about one to two hours. Then we are going to have to unpack when we get there. And then I think I might do, we need to get some food as well because um, we're cooking all of Bub's foods. Now that he's on solids, he can't eat out. Like for us, it's pretty simple. We can actually just buy all our food back and I don't know, it's easier to eat and healthy. But when you have a baby, I guess because he's still so young, you want to make sure that everything he eats is like really nutritious and healthy. So we just, I just hand make everything so I know exactly what is going into his diet. Um... <laughs> grocery run and then 
also the thing that I'm not mentioning at the moment is that Saturday is James's birthday so this trip wasn't intentionally placed on his birthday just kind of landed on his birthday but I thought it'd be really nice so we get to celebrate it all together so I know that Violet is pretty much going to make a cake for Jimmy so we'll do some food shopping and then we'll probably have dinner we'll have some dinner and then we'll have to bathe the bubbies and I have a feeling that if I remember yeah the place doesn't have a bathtub so many places don't have bathtubs so we just kind of have to wing it and Usually what we do is just, um, like, Tobias will hold him in the shower and then I'll help bathe him. But I got a comment the other day around um, why... Because I had on one of my um, pages where I had a workout after bath time. And they're like, don't you find it weird that you're having a bath time before working out? And I realized that when I had been writing bath time, some people thought it was me taking a bath, like my bath. And I was like, oh, actually, I don't really take baths anymore. Um, just because uh, our bathtub's quite large, it takes a long time to fill up with water, and it's a bit, bit of a time commitment. And I feel like I'm so short on time, I don't really want to spend it um, in a bathtub. So uh, I only we do bath time for bite for bubs. So that's why we have baby bath now. That's why I change it to baby bath. So like when you look at this, you know what I'm talking about. You don't think oh, Selena is taking baths every night. I haven't had a bath in. I think the last time I had a bath was when I was pregnant. Um, and it's because my bump was so heavy that I just needed something to kind of lift it. But it was a very, um, what am I looking for? Uh, TV icon, I think, because that's usually what we do with Violin Jim, which chill in the evenings. Um, we had a very, uh, yeah, um, bath times when you're pregnant, if you've ever been pregnant, are very unsatisfying because um, you can't have hot baths, at least... That's what we get told in Australia. I heard that in Japan it's different. So every country is different. I'm not really sure what what other doctors say. But in Australia, you can't have a bath more than 37 degrees Celsius, which is your body temperature. And I love really hot baths, like onsen level hot. So you have to sit in, like, essentially for me, lukewarm water, which I do not like. And so I just never really enjoyed baths when I was pregnant. So the next day is James's birthday. So I'm not quite sure what he has planned. He's listed out a few things. I think likely we'll just take it easy, do a farmer's market, something like that. So I think after breakfast, we might visit one of the farmer's markets. I think there's only one actually now that I think about it. I'm, I have not sure. I'm kind of letting them dictate what he wants to do. I don't know if I have a sticker for a farmer's market. That's a very specific activity. I am going to put this sticker even though this is more of a gardening sticker, but I associate like plants and produce with farmer's markets. So we'll probably do that. And then we'll have some lunch. And I think that in the afternoon, Toby and James are probably gonna head off and do some surfing. I don't know. I mean, if you guys are familiar with us, uh, Victoria, then Torquay's known for their surfing. Um, but, I don't think the temperature, like the temperature is going to be okay, 26 degrees, 28 degrees. So I don't really know though if it is. I find that like if I go to the beach and if I want to go in the water, the temperature has to be really hot for the water to feel nice to be in. So I'm not quite sure what they'll do. But whilst they're there, I'm probably just going to hang out with Violet and Bumps and we'll just have a really chill um, time. You know what? I'm going to use this sticker because... It's just going to be me, Violet, and Bubs. Violet's probably going to be working because she is working on that video game. Um, and I'll just spend my time... Quality time. Let's just call it quality time because it is probably... It's a great time me and Violet get to chat. Um, just really, like, have deep conversations and eat good food. And then the guy, they'll probably come back and we'll have to organize dinner. Yeah, it, this area is just kind of like, I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to like put stuff together and hope for the best. I'm just going to put a little pizza. A little pizza guy for dinner because I don't know what we'll have for dinner. But I do know that James loves pizza. And then we will have baby bath. I will say that I really love doing these videos, but... 
vlogging since having a baby has been a bit of a struggle town for me. Um, it is not coming as naturally as I had hoped. And I'm going to... Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to bring my laptop. So I'm just going to do like working on my tablet and my phone. Um, I'm, I'm going to say passive working. Because usually what happens is that... Um, I don't watch TV, me and Toby's actually don't really watch TV much. Like, I know we have it down here, but it's actually just more like YouTube playing on the side as we uh, do work, like cut stickers or whatever. So, when we go with Violet Jimmy on holiday, usually what happens is that Jimmy loves to watch TV and movies, like actual sit-down movies, and we'll sit there with him and we'll kind of like watch that as we passively work at the same time, like Violet usually is working. So. That is usually how we spend our evenings with them, and honestly, I love it. Like, I think that's why we travel really well, because we are very similar, that we just love to... We don't feel the need to sit around a, a dining table and let's have, like, deep conversations or anything. We just kind of talk as we live life, or whatever we're doing. And it's very comfortable, like, we can literally sit together and we don't even have to talk. We can just be on our phones, our tablets, and occasionally we'll just say something because like someone might see something funny and we'll just talk about it otherwise we'll be like just parallel play i think that's what it's called children parallel play um and i love that it's like just so relaxing so check out is at 10. feels like such a short trip but um and it is a short trip i have a few more trips this year planned um just me bubs and tobias and i think they're going to be a little longer, so hopefully we get to do a few more things. Um, so we'll be packing. Uh, and I don't think I have... <laughs> I'm just like, do I have a purple packing sticker? And I do not think I do, so I may just have to go with this one. Oh, it's so big. Oh well, I don't know what I can do. Packing up. And then... We will drive home. And I'll have to do the whole car swap thing as well in the city. But I might just like do a drive home. And that is pretty much a trip. This still felt so, so short. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know how much footage I will have, but hopefully it is semi-interesting. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Lena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet. Mm -hmm.